Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome back, guys. Alright, we got uh, Diamond Kings Baseball, four box break, number 10. Alright, we got uh, Diamond Kings Baseball, four box... Alright, so uh, this is the second inner case of the Master Case. Every Master Case has two, like, 12 box cases inside of it. Uh, each inner case has a downtown case sitting in it. Uh, plus, they've all had the... Uh, Street Art Ultra Rare insert as well. Uh, I know there's some other Ultra Rare inserts. We've hit the Street Art. Uh, yeah, three inner cases in a row. They also have the the Clean Slate or the Blank Slate. Uh, there's a couple other ones. But yeah, it looks like Street Art's been our, yeah, our uh, Ultra Rare insert so far. Alright, so let's see, maybe we'll get another uh, street art. Definitely want to see uh, what the other ones look like. We've hit the uh, blank slate ones in the past. Pretty cool looking, it's just like an old white one. They got another one called the Blackout. I'm assuming that's all blacked out. Street art has like a cool graffiti vibe. Alright guys, so this was the right inner case. All right, so uh, we're going to rip this open, see which four boxes we're going to break. All right, and Diamond King's uh, great checklist from all the rookie autos to Babe Ruth cut autos, Sandy Koufax, a lot of good stuff on the checklist. I feel like years ago, you used to get a lot more, like, older hits, like Jackie Robinson, Ted Williams. Seems like definitely more modern uh, the last couple years. But, you know, you still got all that old school stuff on the checklist. Who knows, maybe we'll just hit a case that uh, has a lot of old school stuff. But a great rookie class. So I could see why it's overflowed with, you know, Adele and Baum and Carlson and Pat Shea and Joey Bart and the other like two dozen solid rookies. It's a really deep rookie class. I think the prices on the uh, 2021 products have been really great so far. As soon as one of these guys like really makes a name for himself uh then prices are gonna fly up on all these products there's just so many good candidates it's you know a couple of them are probably gonna blow up by like the all-star break cabrian hayes or one of the big guys all right guys so we're gonna make three rows All right, so we're going to roll a dice. If we roll a one or a two, we'll do the left side. Three or four, we'll do the middle. And if we roll a five or a six, we'll do the right side. All right, let's roll. All right, we got a four, so the middle four. Uh, tomorrow night, there'll be more Diamond Kings. Friday night over the weekend, so plenty of Diamond Kings. Yeah, we'll be breaking Diamond Kings for, a, you know, quite a few weeks. Same thing with Bowman. Because I got whatever I was allocated and I picked up uh, some extra. So 
So either have like five or six master cases of this. Which is cool because every master case is like having two cases. All right, guys, here are your teams. Good luck. Last break of the night. Right, here we go box one all right so every box uh most of the boxes have one autograph and one relic uh there's the two gray frames and one plum plum like a purple frame so three frames in every box Uh, what else? Yeah, look for the ultra rare short printed inserts, including blank slate and the new blackout and street art. So we've had three street arts in a row. And they're also shouting out uh, Sandy Koufax there. Rest in peace to uh, Sandy Koufax. It was nice having uh, on-card autographs from somebody of that caliber for all these years. Now you're going to see, I'm sure, a lot more cuts. And I'm sure uh, they got him to sign a bunch of stickers so they could have, you know, f autographs for quite a few years. I'm not sure how many they got, but hopefully there's a lot before it just goes into, like, cut autos. Yeah, because they could have had him sign, you know, thousands of those stickers and they could just put him on, on cards for many, many, many years. All right, Ted Williams. So it's cool seeing the old and the new players. Every card is like a painting. That's cool. It's probably just a regular picture and they have some kind of filter that turns it into like a painting, which is cool. All right. You get one insert in every pack. There's a legacy lithographs, George Sisler. We had a Kyle Lewis autograph on one of these uh, last break. Onus Wagner. It's cool. A lot of the old guys are black and white. Some of them they put some color, which is cool. All right, guys, we got AJ Puck for the Oakland Athletics. And it's horizontal, should be a Jersey Kings card. Yep, congrats, Oakland. Jersey Kings, AJ Puck. Great detail with all the paint splatters and stuff this year. Really cool. Uh, Oakland, Magool 2012. Congrats. There you go. And we got Pete Alonzo Artist Palette. Awesome insert, so colorful. All right, Cabrian Hayes, debut. One of the hottest rookies in the hobby this year. Tatis. Uh, they have some updated uh, players like Jimenez with the Indians. I think all the other sets he's been in a New York Met uniform. 
Oh, Satchel Page. So you got the base and the insert. Gallery of Stars. Jay Cronenworth rookie. And there's some good reading material on these cards. You learn a lot about the history of these players. Jimmy Fox, old school boss and Red Sox. Uh, there's our plum frame, one per box. Ted Williams, the art of hitting, another cool insert. When I first ordered this product, uh, this is one of the cards they had on the sale sheet. Thought that was really cool. Alex Kirloff. Joe Wood. Hey, what's up, Nick? How's it going, C? Hope you're having a nice week so far. Harmon Killebrew. All right, Mike Piazza, New York Mets Legacy Lithographs. Such a cool card. Brady Singer. Oh, uh, Nick, how are the A's doing? Last we talked, they were on that huge winning streak. Mickey Mantle. Yeah, I've been so busy, man. I haven't really been able to peek at how all the other teams are doing this year. All right, Evan White, debut Diamond King's Gray Frame, Seattle. LeMahieu insert, Aficionado. What I saw on like Instagram uh, and on Google, I think Sunday, a couple articles popped up. There was a couple of uh, card stores that were like broken into and had like a bunch of national treasures and stuff like stolen, man. That kind of made me sick. So much money in the hobby, people have to be careful now. Yeah, and they got people on security cameras, and it's like they knew where the expensive stuff was, so it's people in the hobby. It's not just, you know, your regular burglar breaking in and trying to get valuable stuff. It's like they knew right where to go, what part of the case, what cases to leave behind, what to take. Yeah, it made me real angry. Uh, Lindor, Gallery of Stars. All right, and he's a New York Met on this checklist. Ryan Mountcastle. Yeah, that sucks that they would do that, man. And one of the guys, such a nice guy on Instagram. You, a lot of you guys probably know him. Uh, I think he's Kentucky Cards. Like, the nicest guy does a lot of charity work and stuff. And he's just always happy and friendly and doing nice things for people. Yeah, I think one was in Kentucky. One was, uh, I think, Tennessee. So, yeah, get some extra security going on at the local card shops. Alex Kirloff. All 
right, behind Judge. All right, Miami Marlins. All right, Suzuki girl. There you go, Candy. Off to another uh, hot start here. Jesus Sanchez. Number to 99. Rookie jersey auto with the dual jersey. All right. Nice looking card. I like how he's wearing the black Miami uniform. Almost looks like a white sock. All right. Nice hit. Congrats. And we got Joey Bart, artist palette. Yeah, they got him on camera, and I think they were checking, like, parking lot uh, footage. You got, like, the license plate. Yeah, hopefully they catch those guys. It's kind of like the, you know, the scammers that are around eBay you got to watch out for. Or Facebook or Instagram, wherever you deal. They always got some crooked people. This is a great community, like, almost everybody is class act to work with. But you always, yeah, always got to watch out. There's some people just trying to make a quick buck. Babe Ruth. Dylan Carlson, rookie. Uh, Nolan Ryan, the club. He's a Houston Astro on this checklist. All right, Braves hot rookie, Christian Pache. Pache. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got a really cool mailman, and I've gotten to know uh, my UPS driver pretty good. You know, they deliver a lot now. And I keep them busy, man. A lot of deliveries come in. Supplies and cards and all sorts of stuff. A lot of online shopping, too. Bobby Dalbeck. Jackie Robinson, uh, Bo Bichette, Elegance. Something about these inserts that look great. Nice, bright. All right, Dylan Carlson, debut. Yeah, there's a few different ones. I got the one main guy that comes most of the time. Sometimes I'll get like, you know, four or five deliveries in a day. And I'll get up with just a stack of boxes outside. All right, Ozzy Smith, Legacy Lithographs. Yeah, last couple weeks I uh, I found a couple spots to get supplies at that were reasonably priced. They're all sold out now, though. I tried to order what I could from them. So I was getting a lot of supplies delivered, a lot of cases of top loaders and team bags and stuff. I got to find another spot to uh, pick up supplies. I picked up a lot, though. I'm good for a while. Joey Bart. And then, like, BCW, I think. Uh, in, like, November, I have, like, 10 cases of top loaders coming. All right, Pete Alonzo. Gray frame, New York Mets. Oh, you have a fridge outside for him? That's cool. Bregman aficionado. Kyle Lewis. And Alec Baum with the debut. 
All right, guys, box two. Really want to hit one of those ultra rare inserts. Yeah, BCW, now if you order supplies, top loaders and stuff, uh, you won't get them till April of next year. That's crazy, but... I think I'm good for this year, but next, hopefully things get easier to get for next year. But if anybody knows any supply places, want to give up your honey hole, feel free to let me know. Oh, Joe Adele artist palette. That's a great looking card. And it's a rookie. Sixto Sanchez. Yeah, Ultra Pro, you can't even order from the website. Uh, my distributor said he won't have any more supplies till like July. So once he gets in, I'll see what I could get from him. Which they have a lot of breakers and card stores they deal with. So I'm sure uh, there'll be like a limit on what you could get. All right, Pete Rose, the club. Zach McKinstry, L.A. Dodgers, very hot rookie. Yeah, there was this new company, I forgot the name of it. The logo, some kind of red logo. And I think uh, within a month, I have like 10 cases of top loaders coming. I got to try them, though. If they're garbage, I won't put the cards in them. But hopefully, uh, hopefully it's good quality. They look pretty legit. Pete Rose, great frame. Uh, Mickey Mantle, Elegance. Joey Bart. Acuna. Oh, that sucks, man. Stolen from your mailbox. Yeah, my neighborhood's really good, man. I have a lot of uh, quiet neighbors. Yeah, there was this one place. Things look so cheap. I was like, oh, maybe it's too good to be true. Or So I ordered these top loaders. I thought I was getting like 50 packs of top loaders. So I get this with 50 top loaders in it. And then I'm seeing they're like flexible. Like I can't use these. These are... It was just a shot in the dark. I was like, all right, very misleading. It was a big factory. Had a bunch of different supplies. Like, look at this stuff, man. They're like deck protectors. They're not even top loaders. Definitely some false advertising going on. I would never send a top loaded card in that. Maybe a sleeve card or something. But just... And the way they had it, like I was getting 50 packs of 25. I don't know. So I don't know. I definitely overpaid for those. Nothing too crazy because I thought I was just getting a great deal on 
Some doable. <laughs> yeah, they're like deck protectors. Ty Cobb. All right, Big Poppy. And then, like, I got team bags from them. The team bags were good, but made it seem like I was getting... They had a picture of like a pack of a hundred, so each one I ordered I thought I was getting a hundred. It was for each individual bag. So I gotta see what I paid. I think I got completely ripped off. Alex Kirloff. Alright, we got... Alright, New York Yankees Esteban Florial. That should be a frame. Oh no, that's gonna be a hit. All right, dual relic for the Yanks. He was a very hot prospect at one point a few years ago. One of the baby bombers. So he's definitely got some talent. That's a cool looking card. All right, Yankees. Suzuki girl with the Yanks. All right, congrats, Candy. Oh, Tani Artist Palette. Ryan Weathers. Really love the look of these this year. A lot more paint dripping and splattering this year. They went a little crazier. It's usually a little safer. Dylan Carlson. Uh, Lou Gehrig, Gallery of Stars. Alec Baum, rookie card. Nate Pearson. Bobby Delbeck. Jackie Robinson. All right, Isaac Paredes for the Tigers. Plum frame. Detroit rookie. Uh, the Art of Hitting, Miggy Cabrera. See if anybody uh, gets a triple crown in the near future. That might be, uh, he might be the last one for a long time. Not easy to do that. Hit for power, average. And get people on base and get in those uh, ribbies. Reggie Jackson. Daz Cameron. All right, Joey Bart rookie card. There's Lou Bob. Uh, Cody Bellinger with the gray frame. Dylan Carlson, aficionado. Pache for the Braves.
Christian Yelich, Bobby Delbeck, Koufax with a great looking base card. It's cool how they left the grass nice and high back there. Probably Ebbets Field. Behind Joe Morgan. Oh, nice. Pittsburgh Pirates. Big rookie. Cabrian Hayes. All right. Cabrian Hayes autograph. Great looking card. And I kind of like that sideways autograph they've been doing this year. Or in this set. All right, Pittsburgh. Arcade, man. Congrats, Jason. All right, one of the top rooks. Could be the top rookie this year. Mickey Cochran. All right, last pack of box two. Then I'll mag up the Cabrian Hayes. Chrissy Matthewson. That's the Giants, New York Giants. And Tom Seaver. Yeah, he's the first name you think of when you hear Mets. Or think about the history of the Mets as a whole. Now DeGrom and Seaver, it's going to be... Uh, Pretty cool to debate of who's the greatest Met pitcher of all time because DeGrom is on pace to be uh, to blow away Seaver right now if he could keep up this pace. But he's still got a lot of work ahead of him to uh, get a World Series ring and put up the consistent numbers that Seaver did. Yeah, front and back, these cards look cool. Yeah, a lot of color there. Wow, that really pops. That's a great looking card. All right, guys, box three. So I guess with so many rookies on the checklist, that's probably why the old stuff is harder to hit. Remember, like, when I first saw the break in every case, you hit, like, Somebody from the 50s or 20s or even like the 70s and 80s. Like Reggie Jackson and Mattingly. Ken Griffey Jr. All 
right, Aaron Judge, Gallery of Stars. Nick Madrigal. Right, Dylan Carlson. Dylan Carlson insert, aficionado. Yeah, I wonder how much a box of like 2017 Diamond Kings is. Yeah, that was a good year for Diamond Kings. And it seemed like every 12 box case, it was always uh, like three or four patches in every case. I want to see this year how many patches uh, we pull. Like this would be like a regular jersey card. Patches, you know, having the, you know, three color patches and stuff. Remember, it was like expected in every case. Either some really old relic or nice patches. Del Beck. Yelich. Uh, Juan Soto. All right, great frame for the Nationals. And we got Charlie Blackman. Ryan Mountcastle, rookie card. A-Rod. All right, Chicago Cubs, Greg Maddox. All right, dual relic. Congrats, Cubbies. That's a young Greg Maddox. He was a rookie with the Cubs. Yeah, there's been a few sets this year where he was a Cub. Most of the time, he's always Braves. All right, Gimp Golf. Congrats. All right, nice one, Joe. And Carlos Correa Elegance. Yeah, me too. I definitely like this. I think 2021 so far. I've liked what they've done with all them. Top Series 1 had those 86 cards that I love. There's Pache. Aaron Judge, Gallery of Stars, Blue Holofoil. That's number to 99. All right, Yanks. 
And we got Posey. Dylan Carlson debut. Oh yeah, this is Panini for a second. I was thinking tops. Yeah, I get a top spot from this. I guess because all the history. All right, Joe Sewell for Cleveland. That's a plum frame. Vladimir. There's Chapman. Oh, yeah, pretty close to 75, right? What do we have, three more years? Yeah, 75 is a cool design. That was the uh, George Brett rookie year. Yeah, I do like that one. And I like the one, uh, what is it, 81, where they have the little caps on the corner. I really like that one. 81 or 82, the little baseball caps with, like, the team name on it. But 86, that's, you know, my biggest nostalgia year. So Tops uh, Series 1, Series 2 update, they'll have a lot of 86 stuff. So, yeah, this year is good for me. Jim Tome. Kyle Lewis is another Alec Baum debut. Come on, downtown. Shoeless Joe Jackson. Casey Mize. Uh, Alex Kirloff with the frame. Minnesota Twins, Rook. Uh, Tony Gwynn, The Art of Hitting. Oh, they had a mini version, right? I remember the micro ones from the, you know, 80s, 90s. But yeah, 75 did have a mini Right, did they do the mini cards before that? Or was that just something they did in 75? Oh man, yeah, I heard about that with the bike spokes. My generation didn't do it with the bike spokes. I think that was like a big 60s and 70s thing. Rogers Hornsby. All right, guys, last pack of the box. Let's see, we didn't hit an autograph yet. Hopefully, an auto here. Or a downtown. I think there was a couple of the downtowns we hit didn't have an auto in that box. But let's see. Yeah, it looks like an auto coming. Yeah, hopefully uh, when we hit our next downtown, there's an auto in that box. All right, behind Cabrian Hayes, who was our last uh, autograph we hit. 
All right, Texas Rangers, Dane Dunning. Very good uh, pitcher. All right, autograph for Texas. Congrats, Dino Sports. He was doing really good early on this year. I wonder how he's doing. Dane Dunning stats. I'm curious. All right, Hank Greenberg, aficionado, Tigers. Is he even pitching? Yeah, he's pitching. All right, so he was in six games, 28 innings pitched. All right, so it looks like he's a starting pitcher. 3.8 ERA, 29 strikeouts. All right, so over a strikeout an inning. Doing all right and pitching in the American League with that DH, always tougher. I know he was a uh, right White Sox prospect for a while. Okay, 75 first retail time. To buy the mini packs. Wow, with IGA or Circle K. All right, guys, last box. Good luck. Come on, last box mojo. See if we could top that Cabrian Hayes auto. Yeah, we hit a Mike Trout downtown. That was probably our best downtown. And we hit, I think, Joe Adele. So Angel's uh, doing good with the downtowns in our first case. Clayton Kershaw, Legacy. Nate Pearson, all right, we got a pretty thick hit coming, and it's behind Trout, yeah, it looks on the thicker side, so good luck, guys, all right, Miami Marlins, Trevor Rogers. That is number to 99. All right, so rookie jersey auto. Miami, uh, Suzuki girl. Congrats, Candy. Yeah, you've had some great luck. I think that's like three breaks in a row where you got some hits. All right, looks like he broke his arm or something and he was signing with the his non-writing hand. That's what that looks like. Yeah, that's a weird autograph. Yeah, he's definitely signing with his hand that he doesn't write with, so I'm guessing he's injured, or he was at the time. Nate Pearson.
All right, Bryce Harper, Gallery of Stars, Davy Garcia, Ryan Weathers. He was a hot prospect also. All right, that's nice. You're having some good luck. Yeah, breaks can be tough. Uh, but yeah, keep that uh, luck train going. Yeah, with the Marlins and the uh, and the Yankees got a hit, and who knows, maybe the Babe Ruth relic on the way or something. All right, Pee Wee Reese, artist palette. Alec Baum, rookie. Nate Pearson. All right, Cabrian Hayes debut with the plum frame. All right, Pirates to match that nice autograph. There you go, Jay. That's a good one. Blake Snell artist palette. Tom Seaver. All right, another Cabrian Hayes. Roger Maris. All right, guys, last half a box. And uh, I still have a lot more Don Russ and Heritage. I just didn't put much of them up because of, uh, you know, Bowman and Diamond King release. But this weekend I did throw up a Don Russ break, I believe. But I'll start putting uh, more Heritage and Don Russ once we uh, go through a bunch of the DK and Bowman. Uh, Sam Huff, Texas Rangers Rook with the gray frame. Albert Pujols, The Art of Hitting. Zach McKinstry, that's our second rookie card there for the Dodgers. Is that a downtown? Oh, downtown coming. Good luck, guys. Very nice. I was hoping we get it tonight. That's always a nice bonus hit. And a great checklist. And like all the Panini uh, Ultra Rare inserts, always so popular. All right, so it's behind Joey D. Yeah, you can see that green downtown sign. Good luck, guys. Actually, let's see what's in back of it first. All right. Vladdy Guerrero Sr. So that will go to the Nationals. Joey Bart. Ronald Acuna. All right, here we go now. Downtown, ultra rare case hit. So it's always uh, a theme for the city the player's from. Let's see what we get here. What is that? 
Oh, I see an astronaut. Would that be like the Seattle Space Needle, maybe? I'm not sure. Hmm. It's like outer space. Oh, the Astrodome. Okay, the whole Houston Astro uh, thing. All right, congrats to the Astros, Jose Altuve. That's a nice looking one. Downtown. Yeah, the Houston Astros. So, the Astrodome. So they got the whole Astro Outer Space thing going on. That's a cool one. Very cool design for Altuve. All right, Tommy, congrats. Mahalo, my friend. Yeah, that's a nice one. They gave him a really cool design. They're all different. Cool, like football, the New Orleans players, they'll have like a Mardi Gras theme. <laughs> That's cool. And there's the back of the card. All right, still four packs to go. And I think the last pack looks a little thicker. We'll see. Chris Bryant, Gallery of Stars. Evan White. So yeah, that's our fourth downtown. Who did we hit? Joe Adele, Mike Trout, I forgot. Third one might have been Chris Bryant, actually, I think. So we should still have another uh, rare insert in the case somewhere. That's how the first three went. We hit those street arts. So I'm guessing a good chance that another street art or the blank slate or the blackout. Uh, Harvey Kuhn for the Tigers, Gray Frame. Jack Flaherty, Artist Palette. Luis Garcia for the Nationals. Greg Maddox, this one's for the Atlanta Braves, the club. Grover Alexander, he's always got that like Fisher Price mid on. Stan the man, some great detail on this card too. The shadow. All right, guys, last pack. Good luck. All right, so we got a hit in the last pack. Juan Soto. Uh, we got Jackie Robinson Elegance. Casey Mize. Tariq Skubal. All right, guys, last card of the break. 
Oh, nice. That's an old one. All right, Bob Musil. All right, 17 out of 25. Old Bat Relic. New York Yankees, Bat Kings. Or is that New York Giants, maybe? Let me double check. I have no clue. Could be Giants. Could be Yankees. They both have some history. That looks real old. Bob Musil. Uh, New York Yankees uh, played for 11 seasons, 1920 to 1930. So he played in the 20s. All but the last for the New York Yankees. All right, yeah, he played in Cincinnati in 1930. Wow, good numbers too, man. In 1925... 33 homers, 134 RBIs. Wow, 13 stolen bases. 290 average, 348 on base. 542 slugging. His second most home runs was 24 homers. Uh, so he wasn't really known as a power hitter. I guess he was juicing in 1925. No, they didn't have juice back then. Nice hit, man. That's old. From the 20s, you could see the wood uh, definitely different. All right, Candy, congrats. Hopefully some good value. I don't know Bob Musil, but uh, a lot of these old ones fetch more bucks. And that's number to 25. They probably uh, don't have too many bat relics for him. Oh, wow. There's one on eBay. It's number to five. They're asking for 250 bucks. I'm not sure if it's going to get that, but let's see. Okay, so the base one not numbered sold for 30 bucks. Or 30 or best offer, so. And then there was a first off the line that sold for 25, so I don't know. Definitely some value. I don't think anything crazy, though. But a nice one. It's history, man. 1920s. Okay, nice. Yeah, then the value doesn't matter. Yeah, and the PC for sure. All right, guys. So we'll do a recap in a second. So yeah, all week into the weekend, there'll be uh, some Diamond Kings. Yeah, this is a fun break. Always fun. It's cool. It's modernized. We got, you know, they never used to have like the downtowns to chase. So this is a real nice addition. Look how cool that looks. And just having the possibility of those Babe Ruth cut autos and stuff on that caliber. Makes it a... Uh... Yeah, it makes it very exciting. And uh, I think there should be a bunch of Sandy Koufax autos, you know, if they're putting it on the box. So, you know, out of 10 cases, hopefully we see some Sandy Koufax stuff.
It's one of the first products I broke like four years ago. Let's see. See, I'm looking up old videos. Look at that. That's from four years ago, 2017. Wow, yeah, one of my first breaks, man. That's when I used to have the camera facing me a little bit. I was so nervous in the beginning, too. I get embarrassed watching these. Come on, where's the break? Complimenting me, I really appreciate it. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it's so bad. All right, All right. I just wanted to see uh, what kind of hits we were getting. From the hits that you're gonna get. Oh, I used to have the Nick Snags Vault in the, the beginning. So yeah, you used to have the autofocus on. Look how bright the background looks. If anybody uh, collects a particular team, you want some cards, uh, I can do good this week. Joey Battle, 12 in out of 25. See, every break had patches, I remember. That's not anything crazy, but... Uh, you got this nice J.D. Martinez for the Tigers. 11 out of Barnes, Boston Red Sox, 24 out of 49. White uh, piece of jersey there. Ooh, Pirates had a good rookie back then also. Got a John Carlos Stanton for the Marlins. That piece and a jersey piece there. Probably will bring some big money. That is a hit. You'll still get a shot in the vault. Oh, that was the Aaron Judge rookie year. So that was number to 25. Nine double relic. Davis, Chris Crush Davis for the Orioles. Uh, Dansby Swanson, 4 out of 99. I'm not sure his autograph. Um, I know I hit like a Lou Gehrig. Oh, look at that, man. Cut auto. Lou Boudreau. See, a lot more stuff like that back in the day, man. Every break had old school hits. Maybe it's just our first couple cases with more rookie stuff. Yeah, that was a good year. We hit a Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, autograph to seven. The Lou Gehrig relic to five. That was like, could have been my first like big, big hit. All right, guys, little nostalgia. Yeah, it was always, I remember uh, more in the beginning than now. I still get people now, but you had a lot of guys trying to rush me and they would like, you know, diss me in the chat and stuff and I'm too slow and I don't know. Everybody, you know, wants their own thing uh, in the hobby. You know, some people just want to, you know, see what they're hitting. Some people want to enjoy, stretch out the break a little bit. You know, see all the cards and spend a little time with, you know, some of the hits and stuff. Yeah, it's always... But yeah, in the beginning, yeah, I had a lot of people. I had to figure everything out, man. Then I guess the people that I was too slow for, uh, you know, I guess they found breakers that they enjoyed. 
But you could always just, you know, watch the recap, you know, the next day if you want. If you don't want to stay up and watch the whole break. You know, I always do a thorough recap. So, you know, a lot of breakers that don't do the recap or do like a really crappy recap. Um, you got to go back to the break and fast forward and try to see, you know, what other rookie cards and stuff you got. So I always try to do a thorough recap so you know exactly, uh, you know, I don't always recap all the rookies and stuff, but a lot of the top rookies I'll show you, you know, a little extra, that always helps. But yeah, no, I enjoy it. When I open up my own, like, personal stuff, I always take my time and I have, like, a special way that I, uh open up like my personal boxes you know to enjoy it to, I want it to last as long as it can all right guys let's do a recap yeah I appreciate that Nick you've been around for a long time man really appreciate that and a lot of you guys uh you know over four years some of you guys have been around four years a lot of guys, you know, discovered me a year ago or two years ago or two months ago. Really appreciate the support. Yeah, I used to... I mean, I always do, like, giveaway. You know, you guys know I do the giveaways and send out packs and stuff. When I first started, I used to have this Nick Snacks Vault. Here, check it out. Just handpicking like certain packs for people, you know. Not that I would ever do that, but oh, I had some packs there. What is that? So, yeah, I'm just gonna roll a dice and then I'm gonna count that many uh spots up and I'll just number all them. And then oh, I made some packs before that. I was doing something else. The next next vault. Yeah, everybody who didn't get a hit in the break, they had a chance to win. Everybody got a hit until I ran out of hits, and then I made these packs. And then I used to send out Nick Snacks packs, and then those took too long, man. Like, I'd have to go through it. But I went through my collection and gave away a lot of stuff, you know? Everything but, like, my Mets and my New York team stuff. So now, you know, I just always send out uh, hobby packs and do random giveaways. Let's see. Oh, yeah, check it out. This is, this is what I used to do. Alright, this is where I have my dice. Uh, they're ten sided dice, so they could roll from a number from one to a hundred. You know, one is the ten spot, the other one is the one spot. All the hitless teams will win a card from here. You know what I'm gonna do? Everybody's gonna get uh, two cards from here, so every spot will get two rolls. And they'll win two cards from here. Um Let's see the notable cards in here. See, even then, like, instead of one hit, everybody got two hits. So it's just, uh, but most I always did something a crazy. Of relics, uh, a couple of, uh, there's any left in here, the gold-plated Yankee cards. Yeah, I honestly always feel like I want to do as much as I can for everybody. That's still how I feel. See, gold-plated Yankee cards. I was showing some of the bigger stuff that was left to win. Yeah, somebody won a Hank Aaron bat piece. That was cool. I think that was a, that was a bat from when he hit his. Uh, yeah, the home run that gave him the all-time lead. Yeah, around the holidays, I definitely uh, do some stuff. Yeah, this year I went crazy with the uh, hobby box giveaways. That's the number 79 spot. Um, 
So yeah, that's why I have all these dice. I didn't have the 30-sided dice back then, but... See, this is... I pulled that out of a pack in high school, I remember. Platinum Players Club Jordan. I bet you that's worth a lot more now. That's probably like a $1,000 card now. That was like a case hit. Out of like Upper Deck Collector's Choice. Somebody won a Topps Tiffany Greg Maddox. I don't know what was left at this point in there. There was some big stuff in there that people won. What else did I have? I know I showed off some of the big ones they could hit. Oh, there was a Ken Griffey Jr. like uh, high school card or something I had. Oh, SSP, Yadi Molina. That was like a couple hundred bucks. But yeah, somebody won like the Topps Tiffany Greg Maddox. There was a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, that was fun, man. I was really excited about, you know, when I was setting that up. But then once I started breaking and the sorting and the shipping, like very time consuming. I was trying to do too much. I was working like like 200 hours a week, man. Trying to like put all this stuff together. Yeah, just if there was more time in the day... You know, I could go through things and put a lot more. But, you know, I went through everything. I made these packs. Instead of, like, hobby packs, I would uh, have these handmade packs that I made. Um, And, like, looking back now, you know how many LeBron James, like, prisms and, like, stuff that were nice, like, you know, five, ten dollar cards back then. Acuna rookies and stuff like just a ton of stuff that's worth probably hundreds and thousands right now especially graded I gave away like all my uh, like superstar base cards which like the chrome and yeah a lot of sets prism and Bowman like worth a ton of money now I bet you like a bunch of Tatis like first Bowman chromes which were nice at the time you know still like a, you know Ten dollar card or something, but worth a lot more now. Nah, you don't need to do that, Nick. I appreciate that. But yeah, you don't have to, man. Seaver rookies. Yeah, I'm when I have time I always search like old Nolan Ryan and like Seaver stuff. But yeah, no. I'd feel bad if you did that, man. Because those are expensive. Even the ones that are in like really bad condition are still worth some money. I was good. I have a, like a Nolan Ryan. No, like a Seaver 71, I believe. And I definitely have a Nolan Ryan. Uh, nowhere near a rookie, but you know, four or five years later or something. But yeah, the hobby was really good last year, so yeah, hobby blew up. Allocations went down, but you know, still all in all, whatever you could get, you're making like good profit on. So, you know, the extra money, I, you know, just bought a lot more uh, giveaway stuff and a lot more, give away a lot more packs than I have in the past, like the last year and change or whatever. I know, you know, most breakers are gonna, you know, maybe a little something here and there, but, uh, you're spending, like, over a thousand a week and sending out extra packs and giveaways, you know, that cuts into a lot of the profit, but if cards are more expensive, that means you guys are spending more money, and, yeah, I don't think it's fair that, uh, people should be too greedy, you know, you gotta, there's enough meat on the bone, you gotta give back, man. And that helps the, you know, helps the hobby grow. 
Yeah, if everybody's greedy, uh, the hobby's going to burn out real fast. Yeah, things that get too hot too fast, they kind of burn like... Got to be a little balance somewhere. Yeah, only if a really good deal. Yeah, get one that's graded like a, you know, a one or even something with the crease on it. Man, that'd be really cool, you know. Yeah, nothing crazy, Nico. All right, guys, let's do the recap. Uh, Diamond Kings break 10. I was going down memory lane for a little bit. <laughs> All right, so we'll uh, here's some of the hot rookies. All right, so Cabrian Hayes, base Alec Baum, another Cabrian, and uh, that's an Alec Baum debut. Dylan Carlson, Christian Pache, those are both debuts. Ryan Mountcastle, Dylan Carlson, aficionado, Dylan Carlson, base, Pache, another uh, Dylan Carlson, aficionado, Alec Baum, Dylan Carlson, Alex Kirlov, Zach McKinstry, not a household name yet, but a very hot rookie, he was killing it uh, for the Dodgers, McKinstry. Joe Adele, Artist Palette. Nice one for the Angels. That is an awesome card. Alec Baum, Dylan Carlson, Pat Shea, Dylan, a lot of Carlson. Alex Kirloff, Mountcastle, Kirloff, Cabrian Hayes, and another McKinstry. A lot of other good rookies, but I guess those are the top, in my opinion. All right, now the frames. All right, thanks, Nick. Have a good one, man. I'm sure I'll see you tomorrow night. All right, the gray frames. All right, so two per box on these. So we got Harvey Kuhn for the Tigers. Sam Huff for the Rangers. Kierlaw for the Twins, good rook. Juan Soto for the Nationals. Bellinger for the Dodgers. Pete Rose for the Reds. Pete Alonzo for the Mets. Evan White in Seattle. Now the plum frames, one per box. Jimmy Fox for the Boston Red Sox. Ooh, that rhymes. One per box, Fox, Sox. Isaac Paredes, Detroit Tigers. Joe Sewell, Cleveland Indians. Probably old school Cleveland Naps, which turned into the Indians eventually. And Cabrian Hayes for the Pirates. Nice debut with the plum frame. All right, we got a couple of numbered cards. Or we got one numbered card or two. Oh, well, maybe it was only one. Yeah, numbered cards are uh, yeah kind of tough to hit in Diamond Kings. All right, we got an Aaron Judge to 99. Blue hollow foil, Gallery of Stars for the Yanks. All right, now the jersey and back cards.
Yeah, we got those left, the autographs, and then we hit the one downtown, which looks beautiful, man. Maybe not a player that everybody's fond of after uh, the scandal, but gorgeous card. And he's done, you know, so much in his career. They didn't have to do what they did there in Houston. They were great players before that, which if they could turn back time, you know. Because, yeah, Springer, uh, right, he started his first game with his new team, hit like two homers. So they're plenty capable without uh, having to know what pitch is coming. Just being able to hit a major league pitch is like a... Not everybody could do that. Go to the batting cage and try to hit like an 80 mile an hour ball. The average person can't, man. So yeah, these guys are super talented. Alright, so here we go. Uh, jersey cards. We got a Jersey Kings AJ Puck for the Athletics. We got the double jersey. Greg Maddox for the Chicago Cubs. And Esteban Florial for the Yankees. And we got an old back Kings from the 1920s. It's uh, numbered 17 out of 25, the blue holofoil. Bob Musel for the New York Yankees. Had to check out his year in 1925. What do you have, like 35 homers and 135 RBIs, batted like 300. I'm sure uh, Yankees won some rings in the 20s. I'm sure he was a big part of that. Alright, now the autographs. We got Trevor Rogers to 99, rookie dual jersey auto for the Marlins. We got another Marlin, uh, position player, Jesus Sanchez to 99. We got a Dane Dunning auto, Texas Rangers. Good pitcher for the Rangers. He's starting. All right, now our two uh, final hits here. First one is a downtown, not an autograph, but an ultra rare case hit. Look how gorgeous that is. Jose Altuve for the Astros, that whole Astro outer space theme going on. That is great. So congrats to the Astros and our final auto, one of the biggest rookies in the set. Batted like 380 last year, had like 100 at bats or something. And I think he's doing all right this year. Right, what's Cabrian up to? I know his prices were insane early in the year. Uh, he got a little injury. Alright, so let's see. Oh, is he injured right now? Yeah, his last game was April 1st, it looks like. What? So I guess he's been out. Shows how much I've been paying attention. Five at-bats. He had a hit, two RBIs. I think uh, probably a homer, a two-run homer. So it looks like he had a good game and then he got injured. Damn. But in 2020, this kid, uh, 85 at bats, batted 376. Wow. 32 hits in 85 at bats. That's insane for a rookie. That's where most of his value is right now from that performance. Beautiful card, too. Look at all the colors on that. Pittsburgh Pirates, Cabrian Hayes, Rookie Auto, Base Version. But a great looking card. Looks even nicer like that. Great design. All right, guys, that is going to do it for tonight. Uh, I'll be back Thursday night. More Diamond Kings, more Bowman. Chronicles is winding down, our last case of Chronicles. Unless I pick up more, 
because I think I said like our last case a couple times and ended up getting more, but could be our last case. We're up to like break 110 tomorrow night, so. Lovely product, Chronicles. So many big hits. What did we hit tonight? We hit a, uh, we had something nice tonight out of Chronicles. Oh, we hit the white obsidian. That thing was gorgeous. Uh, a white obsidian. Number to eight or number to seven. Nick Solak, who apparently is lighting it up this year. I'm hearing good things about Nick Solak. I think his stock is rising. Nick Solak stats. Let's see what Solak doing. Yeah, betting 286 this year. He's got 15 ribeye stakes. He was batting 307, 319, 305. Every game it like fluctuates. But yeah, he's uh, 119 at bats, batting 286 right now. 15 ribbies. How many homers? Yeah, solid season for a rook. Could be somebody to keep an eye on. Yeah, we hit this bad boy. One out of eight. White obsidian. Gorgeous card. And we hit the base version of that, which is all black. They look great together. But the white one is just so sick. So, yeah. All year uh, since Chronicles came out last year. We're, we're still breaking it. Still pulling crazy stuff. What else? We hit a Whip Merrifield Gold. So even if you don't hit a big auto, a lot of times you get like a great non-auto like that. Number to 10. Yeah, there were three cards numbered under 10 tonight from Chronicles. None of the crazy autos tonight. There was some nice like RPAs and stuff. And solid guys like Trent Grisham, Justin Dunn, just... Couple of nice prospects, but nobody crazy tonight. So I think, uh, I don't know if it's going to be Bo Bichette or Luis Robert or Fernando Tatis, but some big autos are definitely coming. So there's three more breaks left. So this week we'll finish off that Chronicles case. So hopefully uh, whatever team you're bidding on, you're, you guess right on. If it's going to be a Lubab or Tatis. Because it's usually like if we hit a Luis Robert auto in a case of Chronicles, there's another one that pops up in that case. They always double up on those big autos for some reason. It's like 10 cases in a row that we hit not one but two Luis Robert autos. Not 10 cases in a row that we hit Luis Robert autos, but 10 cases in a row that if there was one Luis Robert there was another one. Same thing with Tatis. Same thing with Jordan Alvarez. Same thing with Bo Bichette. So whoever we do hit any of those big guys, is probably another one later in the case. All right, guys. That's it. I'm out. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great one, guys.